everyone. As you may have guessed, I've run out of activities or sports to do activity of the week. So this week, the activity is throwing bean bags into a hole in a piece of wood, otherwise known as cornhole. Enjoy. Fact of the week, the Burj Khalifa, which is the tallest building in the world, which is in Dubai, is so tall that you can see the same sunset twice. So you can see the sun setting at the bottom, jump in the lift, fires you all the way to the top, to then see the same sunset again. That is how tall it is. What? Fact of the week. And welcome to video six of the creativity corner. Creativity craft corner. Uh, this week I've got something quite interesting, a bit different, uh, a bit of a theme to it and uh, quite cross-curricular when you think about history. So basically I've made some sort of target range. I've used a castle because I quite like that theme, I quite like the idea of that. Um, and I've made some little kind of siege engines or siege weapons. Obviously not like the original ones, very, very basic, very simplified. Using pegs again, I've, I've realised how much cool stuff you can make with pegs. Um, and you can use them to attack the castle or knock down the targets. Now, stripping back all the fancy bit of this project, fundamentally, I'm going to just show you how to make a little target range um, and use elastic bands and pegs to shoot down targets. Ah. So basically, it's a really simple concept. Now I've got a printer and laminator, so I've been able to print off a, a fancy castle and some fancy um, targets, but you don't need to be able to do that really. All you need is some good old fashioned cardboard and pencil and some scissors, and you can cut your own design out. Okay, doesn't need to look as fancy as this. If you've got a printer, go for it. Um, and then to make the targets is very simple. I'm gonna show you how to do that. And I'm also gonna show you how to make the kind of um, crossbow style launching elastic band launcher, which does that, yes. You could also make a little catapult, which I'll also go through the details of, which uses, uh, again, a peg, a lolly stick and a little cap there from milk or orange juice cotton and you can put little pellets in there and you can fire them at the castle. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. This is very self-explanatory but I am going to show you how to make the kind of targets at the top and how to make that whole mechanism and then like I said put that to one side and show you how to make the little elastic band launcher using an elastic band and a peg and a piece of wood. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to make the mechanisms, the little targets that you shoot down with your elastic band launcher thing. Okay, so obviously your design doesn't have to be a castle, it just fits with the theme. It can be any building or could be you know, like an archery range. It could be anything really. Completely actually it could be a big green hill, some targets behind it, doesn't matter. But what does matter is how you make the mechanism, whoops, how you make the mechanism to have some really nice little targets that fall when you hit them with the elastic band. So what you're gonna need is some cardboard, some sellotape. Um, you're gonna need to draw out or print out some targets that are on cardboard so they're quite nice and thick and strong. You're gonna need a ruler and you're gonna need a pencil. Okay, so. Depending on the size of your structure or your castle, whatever you've got, you need to obviously measure the height that you're going to need your piece to be. So if you have a look at the back of my castle here, 
my little stands go from the base up to the, to the height that I want the target to be. So obviously you can have them as high as you want, as low as you want, as big as you want, doesn't matter as long as you follow this basic concept really. So um, what you do first is measure the height that you want it to be. So let's say I'm measuring this one, so that's 230, so 23 centimetres. And mark that out. I've made mine about 20 mil or two centimeters wide, like that. And then I can use craft knife or scissors to cut that out. Now, scissors, when cutting cardboard, you want to keep this as straight as possible. So a craft knife is better, but make sure you've got parental supervision if you are using a craft knife. The problem with cutting with scissors is if I cut like this sometimes, depending on which direction you're cutting in, it can, crease and bend the cardboard like that, okay? And we don't want that, you want it to be nice and straight, nice and strong, okay? So, craft knives are better. So, if I draw that out again, and this time, I'm gonna use a craft knife. I'm gonna be a lot less a lot more successful, okay? So I've now got my stand that's gonna stand up there. Now, to attach the target, it's very easy. You just double-sided tape, uh, print stick or glue gun, a little bit of glue in the middle. I'm just gonna attach it centrally like that, okay? So I'm not gonna do it all the way at the top, not the way at the bottom, but just in the middle, like that. So when the target ideally hits the middle, it's got more of a chance of knocking it down. And if it hits the edges of the corner, it might stay standing. Um, so that's fundamentally it for the target stand. And then what we need to do is on the back of your castle, if you designed, you're gonna sellotape it to the base. So very simple, you just add a piece of sellotape to the, so it angles like that. Now that does allow for it to bend left and right. You might wanna put some little guides on it so it stays straight, but I personally have just left it loose with a bit of sellotape, so when it gets hit, it falls down. Not much effort is required to knock it down, which is why it works perfectly for elastic bands, okay? Now, the final part of this is to make a little tab, as you can see, that hold the target in place. So there's a little bit of cardboard that I've bent back, and then so it just kind of leans to get in the way of it, so that it takes a little bit of force to knock it down, okay? Again, that's a little bit of cardboard that I've just glued behind the little stands. Um, and that's it really. Once you've made your targets, you can have as many targets as you want. Like I said, they can be any size, put them however you like. But the idea is with a bit of sellotape at the bottom and a little bit of something holding it there. If not, if there's nothing to hold it, when you put it down, all the targets will just fall down of their own accord. So you need to make sure you've got a little bit of cardboard that supports them so that for the majority of the time they're standing up, okay? So that's it really. Right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to make the little rubber band launcher firing siege weapon, okay? It's very simple, but you do need some certain things. So firstly, you need a piece of wood. You also need a rubber band. You need a clothes peg, uh, the wooden ones are the best. And ideally, but you don't need these, you can cut out or you can get some little cardboard wheels to make it look a bit more realistic. There we go. So I've got, again, as always, I've got my trusty glue gun, which is warming up over here quite nicely. And I've got my elements of my design. Now, the piece of wood doesn't have to be a certain size or length, but you need to work this out. So the one I've made originally is this kind of size, about the length of two pegs. Um, and I'm making my second one a bit longer because the longer it is, the further back that elastic band is being pulled, which means the more force it's going to be generated when it fires forwards, okay? So if the peg was here towards the front, you're not going to get much pull on the elastic band and it's not going to be as powerful, you're not going to be able to knock the targets down. So this one's quite short, um, I thought I'd make a slightly longer one. It's a scrap piece of wood, it doesn't need to be sanded or a certain thickness as long as it's wide enough to stick a peg to the top and make sure that the end of the peg isn't hanging off the end because when you put pressure on there, you don't want it to kind of lift up. So you want you want the support of the wood 
there. So, uh, like I said, the wheels are purely decoration to make it look like a kind of attack weapon, siege weapon, but um, it's quite nice to make things look a bit more realistic. So, first thing you're going to do is, uh, very simply, you're going to glue your peg on the top. Um, ideally, make sure the top's nice and smooth. Um, the smoother the better, but we're going to glue it on the top there. And like I said, make sure the end bit doesn't hang off the back, okay? Pop that in the middle, make sure it's in the centre. Perfect. Then I'm just going to make sure that the elastic band can hook onto the front. Yep, yeah, looks good. And then I'm just going to glue on the wheels. Now, you can obviously stop right there, you can just have it handheld and you can use it kind of like a little kind of handheld little launcher, fire the elastic bands. Um, but I'm just going to stick some wheels on like this very quickly. And there we go, so I've stuck the wheels on, I've got the peg on, ready to go, and uh, also what this has done is kind of, the, the wheels have made a little kind of alleyway, a little kind of aisle for the elastic band to go down for when I fire it. So then what we do is we load it by lifting up the peg, grabbing the elastic band, hurling it to the front, hooking over the front like that, and then we've got woo, a really fierce launcher like that. Um, so like I said, fundamentally it's a very, very simple design. You just need a peg, a bit of wood, and elastic band. And you can't use really long elastic bands, obviously, if your piece of wood is about this length, you need a smaller one. Um, if you've got a long elastic band, your piece of wood's going to be much longer and it's, it's going to look a bit silly. Um, and there we go. Um, that's hard to make the little mini launcher. You've got your little stands, you've got a castle, you've got a design there, you've got your little rubber band launcher. Um, like I say, the tricky thing is just finding elastic bands that are medium or small that you can use whoops, to shoot your targets on your castle. And that's it, you can do it with family, uh, with your siblings, people that you share a household with. You can set up a little competition, you can see how far away you can do it. And again, like I said, it's a bit cross-curricular links with history, links with maths, um, and I'll supply some more information underneath the video if you want to learn about different siege weapons. So like and subscribe please. Good luck. Thanks for watching.